international trade is a driving force in the global economy. Every day, the U.S. imports foreign goods and exports domestically produced goods to countries all over the world. Free and fair global trade is good for everyone. It fosters healthy competition, creates jobs, and stimulates innovation. But sometimes foreign companies, often with the help of their governments, try to gain an unfair advantage in other markets. This can lead to unfair market distortion and illegal trade practices. For example, imagine the doghouse, a small US-owned business that manufactures and sells pet supplies across the United States. The doghouse was doing very well for many years, but recently they noticed that their products weren't selling as well as they used to. Even lowering their prices didn't help sales. The doghouse learned that their customers were buying their pet supplies from a foreign-owned company whose prices were far below their own and less than all other U.S.-owned pet supply stores. The foreign company could sell at such low prices because it received below-market loans and other unfair subsidies from their government. This enabled them to sell their products at unreasonably cheap prices. U.S. producers like the doghouse can't compete with unfairly subsidized imports and may go out of business. By eliminating its U.S. competitors, the foreign-owned company would have full discretion over market pricing. These kinds of market-distorting actions by companies and governments destroy healthy competition. Not only does eliminating domestic competition come at the expense of U.S. workers and product innovation, it is also illegal under international trade agreements. Thankfully, this is where the U.S. government can help. In the face of unfairly traded foreign goods, the U.S. government has tools that help defend U.S. companies facing unfair trade practices. The U.S. government can investigate the unfair trade practices of foreign companies and their governments. As a result, import duties can be imposed on the foreign company's goods to counter any market distorting prices and ensure free and fair trade. Through this process, the U.S. government is able to protect American jobs, ensure that domestic businesses remain competitive, and encourage market innovation. If the doghouse had closed its doors, Americans would have lost their jobs and the entire U.S. pet supply industry could have been jeopardized. By defending domestic companies against the unfair trade practices of foreign exporters, the U.S. government makes trade work for American industries.